Hi and welcome to the Cheers SA. I'm Steve Jackweir and I'm joined by Jane Allswager, netball superstar. How are you Jane? Uh, it's great to be here again Jack. Thanks uh, very much to everybody for tuning in and your support of Cheers SA so far. We're having a great time. Oh, unbelievable. Great show lined up tonight yep. but we must thank Wine Storage and Logistics, our major sponsor. Mm. They're hosting us again tonight. They've hosted the, the boys from before the bounce. They had a great show again, and obviously, uh, racing, chasing, pacing, another good show from them, but boy, they've got a tough show, eh? Ooh, they're very popular, but a little bit controversial at times. <laughs> controversial? You put trying back a winner. They've got to get a winner every week. That's true. Two, true. three, four sometimes, and yep. I don't know how they're going. <laughs> well, I would, I'd never have a hope, so kudos to those guys, for sure. On with our show tonight. Mm -hmm. mm. What a great show. Not one but two special guests. We are very lucky. Everybody wants to be a part of Cheese SA, which um, we're very grateful for. But tonight, uh, we get to kick it off with Brenton Rooney. Now, he is the Managing Director for the Castle Tavern. Now, that's out at Castle Plaza. Um, if you haven't been there, need to get along. It's a, uh, it's a great place. Uh, and then we've also got Stephen Bomber Clifford. Now, he's former Collingwood and Port Adelaide star. I think you ran against him a few times, or did he run over you a few times? Well, fair to say, I know, I know what number he wore because I chased it. I know that. <laughs> he wouldn't know what number I was, but um, no, nah, a bunch of great blokes. Yep. Going to have a really good time. Learn about the hospitality, how they got into it, uh, maybe a little bit of effect on the coronavirus, but I'm sure we'll move on, find out what their favourite drinks are, where they, where they love to eat and drink, and it's going to be a great show. So, straight, quick break, and get them back on board, eh? Let's do it. Great. Thanks. Welcome back. We're joined by Brent Marooney. Managing Director of the Castle Tavern, Castle Plaza on South Road at Edwardstown. Runes, how are you, mate? Yeah, good, thanks, mate. Yeah, good to be here. Good to see you, Jane. Brenton, welcome along. Thank you. Quick history. Before we get into the pub game, football superstar. Oh, eh? yeah. Junior well, football at Port Adelaide, yeah? Very junior. Yeah, yeah. Played a few games, 17s, 19s and reserves. That, that was about it, though. Yeah, bad, didn't bad. go much further than that. Bad knee? Uh, Bad knee, bad attitude as well, most probably along the way, but that's how it goes, you know. Yep. Yeah, I think you like chasing something off the field than on the field, from my recollection, but we uh, won't go down that track right just yet. Lads, we must have been at the same place. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. Um, so how do you get into hospitality? Let's start there. Yeah, so I, I'm a fitter, fitter and turner by trade, and then uh, worked for ANSET for about 10 years, and then ANSET collapsed. And then my father was in um, hotels. He ran the German Arms Hotel up at uh, Harndorf. And then, so I just got a little interest in that through dad. And then an opportunity popped, piped up with the Griffins. Sandra and Greg Griffin had the Maiden Magpie Hotel. So I, I sort of got into that. And then that sort of led into me just getting some experience in the pubs. And I ran a couple along the way and, and now lobbed at the Castle Tavern. So, um, which has been great. Hospitality is a great game um, and I really enjoy it. How long have you been there? I've uh, been at the Castle Tavern for about seven years now um, and we we sort of got into it through Adelaide United, um, through the Griffins again, and it was run as a club. Sturt actually had it before that and then Sturt, um, it didn't really work out for them sure. and so we bought it from, uh, from them and so we ran it as Adelaide United. Then Adelaide United sold um, a couple of years ago and so now we run it. Um, just um, for ourselves. So, Fantastic. Yeah. And you're taking taking advantage of COVID-19 at the moment and, and doing a few refurbs? Yeah, we have. Uh, um, at the tavern? Yeah, we've done a little reno um, in the bistro. Okay. Uh, so that's finished and uh, we sort of got to operate a little bit with that before COVID and we've taken a little opportunity to do the front bar up um, while COVID's on. So front bars are always a bit difficult, you know, with the TAB and all that sort of sure. stuff. So sure. while no one's in there, we've um, just a little paint and carpet and a few bits and pieces, so it's good. Fantastic. Yeah. What's your difference? What's the point of difference? Why should I go to the Castle Tavern? Well, the Castle Tavern is a unique little place. It has um, a great little front bar, um, really good tab and uh, kino and, and really good people in the front bar. It's a real traditional old front bar, but we've got great food. Um, we've got a really great chef at the pub and, and he pumps out a lot of good food. And it's just one of those places that you must really would never go to or never know about, but once you've been, you would come back 
um, often, you know. So it's a, it's a good little pub. And what a family-friendly pub as family well? Family-friendly pub, yeah. Really got seniors menu. Um, it's good for the oldies and uh, right. for lunch times because we're attached to the shopping centre. Mm-hmm. And so it's a little unique in regards to that. So we get those local shoppers in and then they'll do their shopping. Um, the girls will come in and have lunch. Sometimes the girls come and do their shopping and the boys go straight to the front bar and have a couple of pints because they can't be bothered doing the shopping. So, yeah, yeah, so it works out well. Sounds so about right. Port Superstar, Bomber Clifford works for you. He does. He works in my bottle shop. What part does he fit in with the oldies, the newies, the drinkers? <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, he probably, he, probably takes he tries to fit in a bit there, but everywhere, yeah, yeah. yeah. He likes to think that laps. he's still 21, um, <laughs> but he really fits in with the oldies more than anything. <laughs> so I'm going to go down your, down your track for one minute. Yep. Being a publican, yep. you must have so many drinks you can drink from yep. all around the state, all around the world. Yep. Surely SA has got something to deliver. What, what's your fave? My favourite drink, to, if I was just to go to drink at the pub, at the pub, I still like beer. I'm, I'm a beer man, you know, yep. and uh, I like drinking schooners. Mm. And I've sort of gone to that mid-strength um, over the years just with drink driving and um trying to keep tidy as well you know like it's 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 a bit easier so i sort of go to that han super dry mid strength or forex gold you know that's sort of where i'm at we're very boring yes but yes that's me <laughs> however what you've done for us today has brought in a wine yes uh, tell us about it uh so gomaso um is a little winery in gomaso but it's just out of tanunda um a couple of friends of mine um baz and gabby uh own the own the winery um, they make some really good, decent red wines and a rosé and some whites. Um, they are a little family-run place, you know, and they've got um, – they do weddings out of there. They do some tastings and, and uh, you know, just with COVID as well, you know, they, they're finding it really tough as well. They can only do online sales or sales through um, through the pubs, you know, through their drive throughs So um, they're a great – Baz is a real character. Okay. And uh, if you went down there, he would – Instead of getting those little tastings, you know how you get those little tastings at the other wineries? You'd be drinking out of these, you know. <laughs> yeah, so he's a we champ. Like Baz. Yeah, Baz is a good man. Go so um, go down and visit him and, and he'll look after you. So, so he's you got stock, a great place. you stock this though? We stock both of these, yep. yeah. There's a Shiraz and it's a Cab Shiraz. Sav. Yep. And uh, they retail for about $18 a bottle. Um, for a Barossa Shiraz, mm. um, you can't go wrong. So, yep, uh, I could highly recommend it. Well, what about we say cheers, SA? Cheers, SA. Okay. Cheers, Cheers. Cheers. Beautiful job. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks, Brent. Thanks. Welcome back. Another superstar, Stephen Bomber Clifford. Welcome to Cheers, SA. Glad to be here, Jax. How are you, mate? Haven't oh. seen you for a while. It's been a while. Cheers. Cheers to you. Yeah. And Jane. lovely Jane on the lovely other side. Right? Thanks hey? for being here. We're not going to talk much footy because Good. you've already been covered with Before the Bounce and other other shows. Everyone knows about your footy. Just a quick one. How'd you come to SA from Collingwood? Um, got here by bus. No, I'm only changing, mate. <laughs> yeah. I, I you had the have, opportunity. You would have thumbed a ride, wouldn't you? You wouldn't, <laughs> oh, have, you wouldn't have paid for it. Um, I just come over um, by, by luck, actually. I uh, was lucky enough to get an invitation by Port Adelaide to come over here. But the other thing that drew me, of course, was the Barossa Valley and also the Southern Bales. Yes. Terrific wines and terrific people. So um, I come here in 1978 and haven't gone back, so I've really enjoyed it. So you yeah. won, sorry, Jane, you won yeah. three premierships. The reason I ask that is because mm-hmm. obviously there's a bit of celebrating going on. Three premierships, 79, 80 and 81, I think. Yep. Three B&Fs, a couple of runner-ups and just one of the best ever greatest players of all time. Mm-hmm. But you loved celebrating. Beer or wine did you celebrate back in the day? Bit of both. Yes. I don't mind a wine. I've been here since four o'clock waiting for you guys, so <laughs> I've had a few. But uh, it's, yeah. been a, it's been a great day. And, and the wine that Brenton said is absolutely terrific. It's got uh, really nice fruity flavours, uh, maturity in American oak barrels, and just a, a great red wine to drink. So uh, people get the opportunity to have a crack at it. It is, a, it is definitely a lovely wine. Um, oh. Now, you work at the uh, Castle Tavern Bottle Oak. So yep. you see a lot of wines. Absolutely. Do you actually sell any of them or you just drink them all? Mainly drink, but don't <laughs> tell Britain that. But, uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's important very, to know what you're selling of, isn't it? It is it's very, very important. But um, South Australian wines are terrific. Uh, you can't go past them. So um, if you get the opportunity, by all means, have one. Did you, uh, did you ever play against Jack? 
I did play against Jack. Um, yeah. I remember I stood him one time. I think I had twenty four kicks and eighteen handballs, and they took me on uh, uh, took me off after half time. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Jack. I'm only joking. Oh. He's only being serious. <laughs> He's only being serious. But we we often played against each other and yeah. remained good friends ever since. You um, know? That scar, that was him. That scar was him, and that one was you. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, we had a really good relationship on and off the field. We but you, you wouldn't have actually had to tag against Jack. I'm no, sure. he was tagging me. Yeah, yeah. Was, yeah I knew his number. He didn't know mine. So, um. but for, but footy, you know, it's a good way to make relationships and make friends and and have wines along the way. So Enjoy. it's been great for me, anyhow. What do you like to What do you like to pair your wines with? You're a cheese um, guy, are you a seafood guy? What's I'm a seafood guy. Yeah. I love me fish, um, I love my prawns, um, mm. certainly your seafood. Uh, I know your whites go with your seafoods. Yes. Um, so you can have, you know, any Chardonnay, uh, whatever you like with your seafood. But Have so, you been down to these guys? Yeah. Have you been to these? I haven't had the yeah, opportunity, yeah. but we do have wine tastings at, um, at the Castle Plaza. Yes. Um, every two or three weeks and... Um, I'm normally there to host some of them wines uh, to the, the people that come in. I probably drink more than I sell, but um, I certainly enjoy my time. Well, it sounds there. like we're going to go down and see Baz and have a couple. We'll Do yourself take a favour and give yourself an opportunity. That's good. Beautiful wine and great people to go with it. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Bomber. It's been lovely to have you on the show. Thank you very much. John. Thank you also to uh, to Brenton joining us before. Make sure you get down to Castle Tevin at Castle Plaza. Great spot down there. Uh, they'll be opening up soon, and uh, and you'll be able to enjoy all the refurbishments that are going on. The Renos down there as well, Jack. I can't wait. I, I can't wait to get you served. <laughs> he used to give me a serve, and now he's going to be actually serving me. So no. that's going to be perfect. So thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers SA. Cheers, SA. Cheers.